You know, for the longest time, it seems like I've been desperate to get out of America. And um, there have been many a time I've played with uh, the idea of being super pro-American, especially when I was living um, with the fascist YouTuber Teresu. Um, I, I was I was trying really really hard to be into this idea of of America as my home and I tried as hard as I possibly could to see it for the positive attributes the nation has that I felt were not being um, accurately uh, portrayed or otherwise um, not being actualized by um, what I viewed as impeding forces. However, I think this was all very idealistic and rather naive, only leading me to um, the place I started out at, which is fervent um, anti-Americanism. And um, looking at my experiences in other countries, countries that are um, structured in ways that seem to accommodate um, the uh, interests I have, if not aesthetically, then absolutely um, ideologically, um, much more than America does. And really, these are quite basic things, like uh, America, in many respects, does not have the basics. Um, there are a couple um, key cities that stand out as outliers, but otherwise, this is a car-infested dystopia that um, you wouldn't be able to walk around in to save your life. Um, and politically speaking as well, um, it's, it's not good, you know. Uh, there, there are countries that are, by European standards, nominally very conservative that um, would be much, much less prone to uh, putting people in cages for um, having a, a health issue like, say, addiction. Um, look no further than the Czech Republic. Um, their system is far more progressive than America's, despite the fact that they have a quite conservative government. And so um, I've wanted to go to the EU specifically for so long now. Um, and it, it seems like the only way I would be able to um, is to do the one thing that up to this point I've not had the wherewithal or um, the capacity to do, which is uh, be patient enough to work towards um, getting myself there. Because if we're talking about relocating to another continent, this is a years-long process that you have to be working at every single day on. And it seems like for so much of my life, I have been so resistant to the idea of just doing that, of picking something that I'm going to do and sticking to it. It's part of why I have been so attached to this YouTube channel and also to my writing, because those are things that I've stuck to for the most part. But if I look at um, the other goals, more lofty goals that I've had, it's not so much the case. And it's difficult to consistently do something when I fall so easily to apathy. It doesn't matter how much I want something. I can want something with all my heart. And then at the end of the day, I'll find myself not 
cultivating the proper habits and routines that would otherwise facilitate my pathway towards that thing because I fall to that apathy, because I struggle to get out of the bed, to do the basic things that um, are required to take care of myself. And a change of environment um, does not seem to remedy this issue. Um, medication, treatment of various sorts don't seem to remedy this issue. Um, it seems like the only thing I can do um, is continue trying at different um, methods through which I can cultivate these habits and then continue failing at them until eventually I begin to pick up the pace. And that requires a lot of patience. Like, I'm going to have to fail a million times at seemingly basic things for the rest of the populace because I was forgotten for a very long time. You know, I, I wasn't I wasn't given the help that I needed. I, I fell through the cracks in the system. What can I say? But if I have a goal as lofty as literally getting out of the country, I can't just be drifting from couch to couch. I can't just self-indulgently, um, you know, fixate on whatever temporal pleasures may be um, coming at me from moment to moment only to leave. I have to be looking at not just tomorrow or the day after or the day after that, but weeks and months and years ahead of time. And that requires a lot of patience. And it seems like, up until very recently, patience is something I haven't had a lot of. Um, and I think it took being disappointed enough times at the hasty option, at the hasty approach, to realize that I didn't need to be going so quickly. It may take three, four, five, six years to do what I want to do, but if that's what it takes, then so be it. Would I love to take uh, whatever option would allow me to get to where I want to be the fastest? Of course. And if I were to become privy to uh, such an option, if it were to exist, I would certainly take it. However, such a thing is not in sight as of now. And uh, when I look at my life and my perspective pulled back in, in its totality, when, when we're thinking about what has been the most consistent throughout time, What's been the most consistent is this desire to go over there and not remain here. And if I seem to have a hard on for running, then um, there's a number of things I can do right here to facilitate that. Why not go ahead and do that? And so, I have been, but struggling in that. Um, I'm still struggling to maintain a consistent routine, but every single day, I'm telling myself, consciously, what I have to do and why. And while I may not get all of it done, the fact that I'm doing at least some of it each day, and I'm, that I'm continuing to, to, to trek forward, is a sign of something. And as long as I maintain that momentum, I think 
I'm going to be able to actualize these more lofty goals that I have. But it's an uphill battle because again, I was not given the examples that I needed to be able to follow through um, on even the most basic things. I was not um, taught uh, how to do any of this. And, and really, for the most part, I was neglected in my development. But that's not an excuse. I need to acknowledge that those things are factors and factor them into my perspective as I go forward. With all of that being said, um, I've been kind of distracted lately. Um, like, I think one of the biggest distractions by far that, that I've had, and, and really it's a sign of um, mismanaged priorities, if anything, um, is this ever-present desire to uh, reconcile the unreconcilable. What do I mean by that? Um, you know, I've, I've made it a habit to excommunicate a lot of different people, uh, from my life. Um, I have not had the greatest track record with keeping friends, and I thought that that was kind of a broad general thing. I thought that that was, um, merely a product of, uh, my relationship to the outside world. Uh, rather than the uh, specific parts of that world that I was honing in on. What I came to realize was the, all those times that I, that I went on to say that this community of introverted, strange, cowardly, uh, extremely sensitive people that I've cultivated here uh, through being a, an, an extroverted, I don't know, wordsmith as some people might call me, um, who is able to make these very sensitive introverted people feel heard. I've ended up making friends with a lot of those people through these videos that I've done. And uh, what I've come to realize is all those times that I went on to say that, uh, see, these people are, are really the people that I can get on with the best. And, you know, even with the people that I can get on with the best uh, out of all of humanity, I still can't get along with them. Well, the sample size was too small. I didn't do enough tests. I didn't do a large enough study. These people that I'm singling out as the best of the best really weren't shit. That I was hemming and hawing over, desperately wishing could come back to my life. They didn't matter all that much. Because... I was looking in the wrong place for people I would connect to. I thought that the audience I cultivated out of expressing my own introversion or aspects of my own introversion, out of uh, successfully aestheticizing the um, connotations of um, you know, social awkwardness or uh, being alienated from society. I, I thought this big package here that I've been able to lay out to all of you on, on YouTube um, has, has attracted people who are actually very similar to me, when in reality, it hasn't. In reality, I've attracted an audience of people who are really quite different from me. Because those people are watching the videos. They're not making them. If they were really similar to me, they would be making videos themselves. Because they would be experiencing a similar kind of alienation. That would compel me to produce things in this manner. 
but instead they're listening to a guy who is compelled to produce things in this manner that causes them to feel heard in their own specific isolation in their own specific brand of introversion and cowardice and then they go he's just like me but I've got a news flash for you he is not and this is what I failed to understand for so much of my time on this platform for so much of my time going in and out of friendships I've been looking in the wrong place. That isn't to say there aren't olive branches I can easily extend to the community I've cultivated here, nor is it to say that uh, I don't have a lot of similarities to the, the broader nerdosphere, I guess is what I'll call them. But I come from a set of circumstances that are wholly different from the vast majority of the uh, white um, middle class, assuming, uh, assumedly, um, cushy positions that much of my audience comes from in the Anglosphere. I did not grow up that way. I don't think that way, I did not live that way, and I don't live that way now. And all of those moments of awkwardness that I would experience with those folks who I would end up meeting through this platform, I thought were a product of a, a problem with me, when in reality, it was neither a problem with me nor a problem with them. It was a problem with where I was looking. And in that sense, just like in the sense that I can uh, attain the goals that I've been espousing throughout my time on this channel, I can find people with whom I share in a real deep connection with, if I just look elsewhere, if I just continue to express myself in an earnest manner and come to find those people. It isn't going to be here for the most part. There's a select few that are in that ballpark, but for the most part, it isn't gonna come through this. It's gonna come out there. I'm pointing at a window, you can't see it, but it's the outside world is where that's going to come from. Much in the same way that if I'm going to achieve these lofty ideals that I've espoused for so much of the time that you've seen me here on this here platform, it's not going to be achieved, attained, etc. through being in my room or continuing to do things the same way that I've always done them. These things are going to be actualized out there. And there really is no other way for me or perhaps for those of you who actually are similar to me watching this video for you.